Okay. Today we are making the mini backpack by Deedlebug Handmade. I've made tons of changes to this bag, um, but I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm very late. So I was looking for my water bottle and it was down here the whole time. <laughs> so anyway, to get things out of the way, this is a Juki DU1181N. I am using a size 19 needle. I am using Tex 92, Tex 90 bonded thread from Sunny Sewing Supplies. Um, my snips are from Amazon. My double sided tape is from waywack.com. My waterproof canvas is from FWD Fabrics. My interfacing is from godinterfacing.com. Is there anything I'm missing? <laughs> Also, I switched to YouTube like dark mode and I can see these comments so nicely. Ooh, Trish, yes. My thread zapper is the thread zap ultra. <laughs> I never mind questions, but especially during a live, I'm like, I've said it so many times, <laughs> but it's okay. Please always feel free to ask questions. Um, and whatnot. Okay, I'm so sorry to people who hate when I wind bobbins. I have to wind bobbins. Oh, my chair is Techni Sport. Thanks, Kelly. Good looking out. <laughs> um, oh, first time joining you live. Hi, Leanna, Leah. Uh, I did finally make a um a blog post on my website with all my affiliate links so i'm gonna start um listing that in my videos instead of like the whole list it'll just be that one link you can follow to see all the different links so hopefully that helps everybody um and then when i update it you'll be able to see it immediately, basically. Like I don't have to go through and change everything. Hello everybody. Um, so my bobbins are from, I actually bought a ton on eBay, but Sunny Sewing Machine, uh, which is where I get my thread. They also have needles, um, like buy the box of a hundred. That's kind of amazing. Uh, they have bobbins as well. Oh yay, Linda. Oh, I'm so excited. Did you pre-order the Animal Crossing Switch in case you know I did? And I used that Target red card, save 5%. Yeah, I ordered the game, the Switch, and the case. Um, I'm so excited. That's honestly probably why I don't have any other shows. Like, this year. So I'm like, oh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I mean, not to mention a million other things, but priority. Hello to Australia. Um, also, my shirt is from Aerie. I saw that question and I was like, I gotta remember that. <laughs> my favorite reality TV. I know, right? It's just like dancing. Anytime I wind a bobbin with like water, it reminds me of like the Jurassic Park. I will move the water just so everyone's aware. All right, bobbin in Emerald Isle, North Carolina. That's amazing. Welcome. Um, let me know if I need to move my camera a little bit later. I feel like I should have like a set spot, but I never, never do. Um, Cindy, I actually had a sidewinder from Gold Star Tool and it broke. Um, so I just got rid of it. Hi, Pamela. Trish, we are making the mini backpack from Deedlebug. 
changing it up is entertaining. That, and I'm nowhere near a professional. Um, I wanted to do a channel shout out to the Bobbin Weave. She just started her channel recently, and she does really cool, um, like, time-lapse videos. I know somebody mentioned, like, she has the same machine as you and stuff, um, but so many people have this machine. So, Caitlin, uh, I'm excited to watch her channel grow. So I hope you guys check her out. Okay. I still haven't made it. Tea and popcorn. Ooh, I'm jealous. I want to see your whole face. Okay, I will try. Okay. Uh, where do I get my handmade tags? I don't... Uh, it's called the Bobbin Weave. If you search for that. Okay, now you guys are gonna make me want popcorn. CJ's playing D&D &D upstairs, so I can't make him my errand love child. Oh, he's not a child. Only well, kind of is. All right. O-ring handle, nameplate on top, tassel. Okay. <laughs> we will eat it for you. Okay, I'm gonna start out by prepping my straps and my main panel. This will help me. There's so many different pieces and I haven't made one of these in a while. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hi, girls. yesterday I know we made 13 of them uh, the bobbin weave her name is Caitlin yeah um, what size rivets post do you use um, I use 9 by 9 for everything but I know that Tandy leather um, and then I think the rivet guy I don't know I read a post um, in so whatever about like rivets and whatnot Yeah, that koala quilt was so cute. Oh yeah, Kim. Yeah, I was, it's like just cause one person does something doesn't mean other people can't do it too. So it's really cool to see YouTube channels popping up cause I love watching it too. Uh, the vinyl that I'm using is from Bo D.O. This is the color putty, I believe. More zipper heads for that tape. Yeah, Charisse, right? I think, like, a, a pool for every 12 inches is probably a good guesstimate. I'm sewing this so demented pouched. Oh, cool. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the thread I'm using is Tex 70, a Mon thread. It's the best. Oh, wow, Inga, that is a lot of pieces. Oh, Inga, did you see that Tom Nook has little toe beans? <laughs> I saw that um, on like an Animal Crossing channel or something, and they were like, Tom Nook has toe beans. And I was like, get out of here. It's uh, Animal Crossing, if anybody is confused. Oh, hi, Naomi. Welcome. Hi, Taylor, Aubrey, and Peyton. Thanks for joining in. Also, listen to your mother and eat your vegetables. Okay. So excited. Do I ever use Tex 90? Yes. This one is Tex 90, not 70. <laughs> Tell mine to go to bed. 
Children, if you're awake and you should be in bed, go to bed. Although I... Um, Julie, I know that Vita could post the link for Bodio. This is a leather-backed vinyl. It's very sturdy. I don't know that I would recommend this one for um, a domestic, but it is very nice. They're full on cheering and clapping. Aww. Thank you, Vita. Uh, Vita is the reason I'm obsessed with Bodio, so that's why I was like, she, she should post it. Um, and Ellen runs the company. And from what I understand, I could be totally wrong, is she gets... Um, I don't even know. It's usable. Hey, Shay. Usable is half the battle, so you're there, you know. I didn't get to where I am. Yes, not all of them are, like, great. How do you know if they're leather-backed? She has excellent descriptions. For her vinyl. I may do like a shopping video sometime, kind of like what I did with my punk embroidery. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. Um. Yeah, this is a really pretty like cool tone. Okay. I'll add that to my to-do list and kind of go through because I know it can get like really confusing. Like, what does this mean? What does this mean? <laughs> Love them. They're so great. Oh, those are rivets from that bag I never finished. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Hi, Cheryl. Sorry. All right, so I'm using these flower zipper pulls that are from my website. Hi, Kimberly. And I'm using cream and rose gold zipper tape from my handmade space. Hey, Garth. Fist bump. Okay, so I'm cutting eight inches of zipper tape for the front pocket. And I thought it would be really cute to add two zipper pulls to the front pocket. I just, I really liked the idea of everything being able to like come to the center. So I thought that would be really cute. I'm using this zipper jig. You could also use a fork. I just think this is easier for me. And I know some people can put the pulls on by hand and I'm like, more power to you. I am unable. Um, I have not restocked zipper tape right now. The Chinese New Year is had it or is um, not quite over. I know that they're also having some health issues, so we can be patient. I mean, I'm having trouble, but I will try to be. <laughs> so I've got two zipper pulls added there, and then I'm going to add zipper tabs. These are cut to three inches by one and a half, and. I'm going to sew about half an inch on either end, and then I'll center it. So there's going to be extra um, zipper tab that I'm going to cut off, but I'd rather have more than not enough. Also, shout out to my assistant supervisor, Tammy, for cutting and interfacing this today. She did an amazing job. Okay. So I'm gonna fold this open and top stitch through. And as I'm doing that, um, I was holding on to my jump threads. These are um, nylon zipper. I don't use metal zipper tape. It was funny, um, I made a bag for my sister a long time ago and she's like, I only want metal. Oh, this is by hand. That's awesome. Jessica is incredible, so it doesn't surprise me. Um, yeah, I told her. Oh, I know. I don't know what I was saying. 
Uh, this is bonded nylon. No, poly. Sarah Bond T90 poly, yes. Hi, Rebecca. Okay. What was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Zipper, zipper tape restock. It'll happen um, probably early March. We're not going to be able to get any more this month just because of my show coming up. But March, absolutely. And I'm ordering like hundreds of yards of rainbows so that no one will miss out. <laughs> oh, that's right. Thank you. Metal zippers. Yeah. And then she decided she actually didn't like the metal zippers. And I was like, all right then. So she's like, let's not do that again. Sounds great to me. <laughs> okay. So I marked the center of my zipper tape and since I have the pulls on in the center, um, I can just line up those center snips. Um, and then baste it into place. I'm gonna pull my zipper pulls out of the way to start, make sure everything's lined up. I'm just basting like an eighth of an inch from the edge. And then as I get further, I can zip my zippers back up and then kind of let it rest so it doesn't get those weird wonky waves. Um, I don't use a zipper foot just because I, I wouldn't want to change it out every single time. Okay, so I'm adding bottom half of the lining, clipping it from the opposite side so that I can flip it over and then just come down a little bit from my basting stitch. And then as I get close to the zipper tape, the zipper pulls I should say, I'll just zip it to the other side. And then with my fingers, I'm feeling where that zipper tape is so that I can avoid it. And then I'm going to iron the back side and flip it over. I'm using a lot of steam, watching out for the leather. I don't want to touch it straight on. And I'm gonna press this flat and top stitch through. And I'm kind of pulling on all the layers. I'm using white to top stitch, so I want to make sure that my stitches look good. <laughs> and this is not part of the pattern, this zipper pocket. This is my own thing. So there's what the front looks like. Um, the black straps will be in stock um, probably again after the Chinese New Year. Hey, Sam. Okay, so finding the center of the top of the front panel, clipping it in place. You can add a little bit of glue. You could add some double-sided tape, hold everything together if you wanted. Brooke, that's fun. Oh yeah, also thank you so much to everybody that watched the Ulfa video. That was just like a little project I had in mind and it's so cool to see people actually make it. Um, I don't know that I did a video on it, but I did make a few with it and I didn't like it. Um, it has raw edges, which is not an issue, but I feel like some parts of it were harder than needed to be so that they could avoid the raw edges. And then like, it's just raw edges. I don't know. It just didn't go on easily for me. Um, so I like this better. Oh, cool. Yay. 
yeah, undecided if I like it or not. Yeah. And that was just something I like made up and they were like, cool, great, works for us. It's like, cool, great, <laughs> works for me. Okay, so again, basted that in place. Sewing through the, the top exterior fabric, my zipper and my lining. Making sure to avoid the zipper tape. And then I will flip up the exterior top fabric only and stitch through. And then my front panel is ready so I can baste it to the foam now. Oh, nope, one more thing I gotta do. Um, because of the way I cut the back pocket, you can see that it's uneven. So what I'm gonna do is lay this flat. You don't wanna bring those together because then your pocket isn't going to sit flat and you're just going to clip it together, flip the exterior bottom panel fabric up and then just sew down the bottom of that pocket. And right now what I'm doing is like feeling with my hands where the two layers meet. You could of course do it from the opposite side or just flip your fabric over. How are we out of bobbin already? We're not. Oh, I see. Okay. And then I'm gonna sew two lines across that just because that thread sounded weird and I don't want anything to happen. So I sewed two lines that are parallel to each other just for a little extra stability and then I'll just trim the excess off. Yeah the waterproof canvas is amazing. So then I can trim down my zipper tabs that are flailing on the sides. Get all my extra little threads. And the customer sent the fabric design that I'm using. It was just a, the image that she wanted. I've got my foam laid down, clipping around the outer edges. Do I ever serge any of my work? Um, I serge tote bags that I make, but I wouldn't like head over to the serger at this point because I can't think of anything I would need it for. making sure everything is flat. Where did I get the large pressing cloth for my heat press? Amazon. It's a Teflon sheet. And you don't necessarily need Teflon, but the Teflon is nice because it's non-stick. So if you needed to compress your layers a little bit more, you could do a second um, line of stitching around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. And then I'm going to fuse this fabric to the top with my iron. Just some quick pressing. Um, there are 48 more. Oh, wow, the, the rainbow thread sold out again. That's awesome. Yeah, the, um, the bell is a lot of work. 
Um, someday I hope to make like an updated video on it because I know the one we have kind of cuts out. I think someone said I say something really rude in it. I don't know. Hannah, my chair is from Technisport. Okay, marking my centers. My feed dogs are up. Wow, Sam, that's exciting. I just love rainbow. Yes, you can use a domestic to sew waterproof canvas. Um, the flower fabric this design was sent to me by the customer. Hugs her rainbow thread, yeah. I love you, rainbow thread. I'll never let go. Okay, so there's my center. Hello, Priscilla. And this is printed on linen cotton canvas from Spoonflower. It's my favorite. Cute. Yes, you can iron waterproof canvas. It's from fwdfabrics.com. You just want to be very gentle and use a lot of steam. All right, so we've got our front panel finished. Super cute. Why does it, oh, okay, my zipper pulls just weren't centered. I was like, why does it feel off center, but it doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna work on the back panel now. This is gonna be the fun one. I'm not adding, all right, let me trim my bottom piece really quick before I forget. I need to update my pattern pieces. So if my memory serves me correctly, you want to make sure the bottom piece is cut to a square if you're going to do this method and you want to make sure that it's trimmed down to 10.75. Oh, thank you, Shannon. Um, thank you so much to everybody who ordered Zipper by the Yard while it was available. Um, there is actually still some now. I would really like to know what is your personal bag pattern. Oh, uh, Arlanda. No, the bobbin weave is another person. I just um, gave her a shout out earlier. She just has the same machine and stickers, um, but she's awesome. Make sure you guys give her a subscribe. All right of my back panel yeah um make sure you guys give me your feedback on the zipper by the yard too i really like it but i'd love to know what other people are thinking about it as well okay so for this back panel i've also changed it up what i did was cut the back panel kind of bisected it at seven and a half inches to make it into a slip pocket and then you cut eight inches out of another piece, add this, and then add everything else. Um, the color of waterproof canvas that I'm using for the exterior is the rose gold. It's kind of like a flesh toned pink, it's really pretty. I'm sewing this at like a quarter inch seam allowance. Otherwise you'd have to add excess to the back. And then I'm going to press the lining and fold it over. And then you can baste the lining to it, but you're gonna have to baste it all together in a minute anyway, so 
I'm just Guys, I think we have an orange door hinge. Haha, <laughs> Vita to the rescue. <laughs> okay, and then this one, it doesn't quite matter where you top stitch, but I really like this top stitch on the vinyl, so I'm gonna, because I'm probably gonna cover it up anyway. So this one, right, I only need the back accent and the straps. I just don't want to forget. Yeah, because this gets lined up like that. Hey Jess, welcome. We're glad you could join us as well. All right, that's a side panel. What do I need? I need my back accent. May as well deal with my grab handle. That's what she said. Okay, I'm grabbing some double-sided tape. Um, how to correct wrinkly. Hmm. You can try and heat up your ironing board. Um, oh, two other channel shout outs is, um, Jess from Oakla Roots, I believe, and, um, Sia Swag, I hope I'm saying it right, I noticed she has a channel as well, which is so cool, all different kinds of people to learn from, I love it. Um, Ben is upstairs sleeping. Okay, so for my back accent piece, I didn't fold the um, connectors all the way in because I like it to be a little bit wider. Um, and then for the hang tab or the hang strap. I am folding this in to the center, leaving a small gap, and then I'm going to fold it in half because I'm going to connect it a different way. So I'll just clip it until I'm ready to top stitch it. Oh, bye Tracy. Lauren, did you get your hand luggage bags done for yourself in the end? I'm not sure which ones you mean. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna get my connectors for the bottom prepped. Stephanie. Yeah, I love um, patterns that give you the chance to kind of alter them. I think that's really fun. And this bag is great unaltered, but it's also great altered, so. All right, stitch length five. So I'm sewing down. These are the um, bottom, like, strap connector piece, so I'm just top stitching these. No, I don't want to use this. Forgot I had tape. I think she's asking what is Lauren's favorite bag pattern to make. Okay. 
Um, so my favorite bag pattern to make is the Emily tote bag by me. Um, just because it's so easy to kind of change up. I love the size. I just love it. I really um, want to make another one that's like all vinyl with the chevron cutout. Um, do I personally carry the Emily? I used to, um, but I'm currently carrying the Sarah bag pack, which is a pattern I hope to release someday um, when I get time. Uh, guys and gals, Lauren was going away to Florida and was making a bag to go to Florida. Oh, that might have been an older video, but I probably did. Um, I just stitched down the center. That. It's a choose your own adventure bag, yeah. Which is exactly how the Sarah bag pack will be. Okay, I'm trying to get, like, oh, the Trailblazer backpack before I went to Florida. Thanks, Kira. I did get it made. I didn't love it. Um, it's just so that they don't separate. It's It's kind of like top stitching here, but it's just, like, a little bit extra. <sighs> Sandra, do you mean the, the one with like the elephants on it? That I did live in uh, So Whatever. Angela is asking about Lauren's favorite bag pattern to use for herself other than her own patterns. Oh, the, uh, I don't know. Oh, hi, Laura. Hi, Brian. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, other than my own pattern, what is my favorite to sew? Uh, I really love making the Lola lately. Sometimes after I make a bag a lot, I get really tired. Yes, Zhuang, Jackie, I agree. I don't think I will be either. And I just really hope everyone is safe. Everyone, like all of my suppliers, I've just been messaging them like, hey, I just want to check and make sure you guys are okay. And they're like, yes, factories are going to open a little later though. So safety first. Um, where do I get the names for all my patterns? Um, a lot of them are inspired by my sisters. So the Emily is my sister's name. She inspired the bag. It was basically things that she wanted. The Elaine is my sister Emily's middle name. So real creative there. Um, the Victoria wristlet, that's my middle name. And it has like a V on the front. So I thought it would be fun. And then the Sarah bag pack is my other sister. <laughs> And all my friends are like, I want a bag named after me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, get in line. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. So I'm kind of compressing this a little bit with those clamps, making sure it'll fit. Yep, looks good. Don't put it in your mouth. I'm gonna add a little bit of the Fabri-Tac. Nicole from Sonar got me addicted to this. But I will say it hurts my hand to squeeze out. So I wish they had like an easier tube. I'm gonna stick this inside the tassel cap. Grab my screw. Yeah, yeah, they're still flying out Becky, but it's definitely um, fewer and far between. Uh, I can never get the screw all the way in. 
it strips. That is so weird. Have you, you, I think I've messaged you before and you say you do poke the hole, so that's so weird. Oh, a hot cup of water, interesting. Huh, more tax prep, that sounds awful. Oh, thank you for your song. Okay, oh, I had already put a nameplate in here, go me. All right, that's for the lining, this is the exterior. O-rings, let's prep these. Okay, so the next thing that I'm prepping is the O-ring connectors for the top of the bag. Uh, Sammy, I have a website. Um, but right now, custom orders are kind of on hold for the Chinese New Year. It's hard to get fabric when no one's making it. <laughs> um, but yeah, after March. You can also email me for a custom order. Just know that it might take a bit for me to get back to you. Just because I think I have like 20 something open orders at the moment that are waiting on their fabrics and I really don't like to have more than that or I get overwhelmed and I don't like that. Okay, so I'm using the one inch O-rings with um, three quarter inch strap connector. I think it just fits really nicely. And then I like to make sure that the tab goes under quite further while next to, I'll show you guys. So hopefully you can see how much further down. It's not centered, but it's further down so that it's stronger because this is where most of the pull is going to be. So you wanna make sure you add strength to that part. Um, and then if you put it in the center and add a rivet, you're actually, you're actually loosening the strength, lessening the strength the bag will have. All right, so there's my bottom, there's my side panels. Okay, let's finish up this back panel. What I'm gonna do is grab my foam. Because this piece can end up bigger, smaller, whatever. Oh, is it the same size? Yeah, awesome. So all I'm doing is clipping it so I can trace it out, but I'm not going to sew it together yet because if you baste it all together, like if you add your straps while the foam is on, you're um, kind of bisecting your foam and it'll be weaker at that point. Hopefully that makes sense. So I like to add the foam after. How long did it actually take to make a bag making a business? Um, probably for me, it's been about, well, I've been doing this for like five years, but it took uh, like three years. Confusable. Can, yes, you can use fusible foam and choose not to actually sew it. Absolutely. You can just base it, and that's kind of what I'm doing. I just buy the single-sided fusible foam. I like to get mine from overstock.com. I know a lot of people say that you're risking what kind of quality you're getting, but I've always, I've never had a bad, well, Pellon can be hit or miss, but I've never had like a really awful experience with overstock. And it was like three bucks a yard for me. Okay. So I'm going an inch out from the center marks to know where to put my hanging straps, the shoulder straps that I need to rivet through really quick. Thick. 
When you're pressing through really thick vinyl with a hole punch, you want to go really slow. Because you could like cut a hole that's too big. Yeah, Christy, I love this chair. I bought it last year at C2E2. Oh, that rivet cap is like covered in glue. Goodbye. So I'm going to base these straps in place. I want to make sure that the raw end is facing up so that when it's folded over, you don't see it. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to lay this in place about a quarter of an inch underneath where I added my basting line. I'm just going to sew the way down. Okay. And then I'll add my back panel and clip that in place. And then it really depends on how things go, yeah. So I'll have a little peak of that fabric showing through the back side, but that's okay. And you wanna make sure it's an even amount and everything is straight. Looks good. And then if you were adding a um, handle here, that grab handle, you would add it now before anything else happens. Um, so if you are doing this kind of method with the back panel, make sure if you do not want to see this little seam, you add that half an inch to your pattern piece. Um, but we just trace the back and then cut it so we don't have that extra to add. But I think it's kind of fun. So sewing all the way around. And then I'm gonna add a second line on the top as just an extra support for the straps. So I'm coming about a quarter of an inch down, making sure I'm sewing through the straps. And I just add a little back stitch for strength. There we go. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. Happy to have you. And then I'm gonna baste on the bottom strap connector. Now, and this goes an inch from the bottom at, a, at an angle. And then I'll add the foam and kind of trim all the excess. It is really pretty. Okay, trimming down the excess waterproof canvas. Grabbing my waterproof canvas. Or no, my foam. What? 
Yes, my chair is a gaming chair, Kelly. Okay, using these clips. Do you have a zipper foot? No, I keep the walking foot on. I'm <laughs> refilling my popcorn. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna sew around the whole edge. Yes, I add the back things before the foam just because once you add that stitch line to the foam, it'll kind of fold. Doing the um, live videos with chat is so exhausting. Um, I'm very good at multitasking and my brain like, humble brag like kind of processes things very quickly so that's why I'm able to do them at the same time but like it takes a lot out of me so like the other day when I did a live video you guys were like okay but come back it's like I can't it's exhausting okay but when you do this all day and you don't do anything else Oh, Dorothy, I'm so glad. So glad. What was that? I'm so glad that you love it. <laughs> All right, so my back panel is done. My front panel is done. Now I'm going to work on the lining, and then we'll work on the um, zipper panel. So what I like to do to keep everything out of the way is fold my back panels up like that. And just... Oh, I gotta mark my centers. Does my hubby help? Mm, he does what he can, but it's not his job, so it's okay. Oh, yeah. No, and, and then I like doing the videos because I get to connect with you guys, my friends. Um, but it is exhausting, especially when I have to do tons of bags at once. And I think it used to be easier when there were less people. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe maybe in the future we will. This is fine. <laughs> All right. So um Lisa just watched this bag kick my butt. The other five did go pretty well. I had some issues on two of them and my hands hurt like crazy. So this is all from the staples that were in the bag. So I will not be making any more anytime soon. <laughs> and I told um, my friend Tammy, I was like, okay, if I, I love this bag, I love the shape, but if I wanna do more, don't let me do more than two at a time because five was exhausting. I can do five Lola's at a time. But this was exhausting. What kind of thread do you use? Yes, Tex 90 Bonded Poly from Sunny Sewing Machine. Get better hands, yeah. It'll be okay. It's okay, it's okay. And then I think I have like some, I don't know if you can see this like irritation here, but it's from zippers. <laughs> like from birthing zipper pouches and stuff. Yeah. But I'm trying to get ready for that show. Too many needles breaking. Yeah. Actually, I don't, I haven't broken a needle in a while. Hi Sandy, thank you. Kira is on it with those links. She's the best. I'm so excited for April. I'm really excited for my show to be over, but I'm also not excited. I have a link saved on my phone. Yes, I love it. She's on it. Um, so for C2E2, I was really worried because they didn't have any like awesome celebrities. Do I have a luggage video? No. Um, like they had some good ones, but nothing that I was like really into. Um, but they just announced Mark Ruffalo. And I told myself, like, 
I don't need that photo op. Well, I got that photo op. <laughs> I was like, nah, nah, I want it. I need it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. I'm gonna add my zipper pocket. Oh, good. Well, he, yeah, he's the Hulk, Mark Ruffalo, but he was also in 13 going on 30, yeah. And I bought a box of Razzles <laughs> off of Amazon. And I'm just gonna like take one and be like, will you pretend to eat these with me? <laughs> I bet a lot of people will, but I was like, you know what? I, was he in 10 things I hate about you? Like, that's all I want. <laughs> Can you just pretend to eat these with me, please? Maddie. Oh, she's awesome. Um, like, my hands feel much better. Um, it's just the scars at this point. Did I say a quote from 10 Things I Hear About You? I believe I did. Oh, now you see me. No, I'll make him dance with you, yeah. Can you do Thriller with me? <laughs> Please, <laughs> that'd be great. Okay, adding a zippered pocket, adding a slip pocket, and then moving along. Zipper, this is my slip, I think. Bottom, great. Tammy is the best. So I'm just folding the top edge of the zipper or the slip pocket over. And then I will baste it on. Mm. Right, grabbing some quarter inch wide double sided tape. Hi Shawnee. Lauren, the tool for your zipper pulls. It is called a zipper jig on Amazon, or you can use a fork. All right, so I added just a quarter inch double-sided tape to the bottom to fold up that raw edge, marking my center. Uh -huh. Yeah, so actually for merch, I'm going to um, kind of slow down on that just because it is a lot to keep on hand and it's so hard to invest that much money not knowing they'll sell so what I have might be the end of it as far as like t-shirts and stuff unless I find a website with decent quality like print on demand so if you guys have any suggestions for that let me know I'm adding a you look really pretty today label as well. I'm basing it on. And then you could add a dividing pocket to this or something else. Have I checked Teespring? No, I have not. I need to. Teespring, how much you earn with sales? Uh, Mike, I'm not sure exactly. Like sales from the shirts or, um, cause I try not to overprice the shirts too much. Amanda, cool. Made my fork. Oh, cool. That's fun. K and D Enterprises for the t-shirts on Etsy. Tell them about you. I probably won't remember any of this, so feel free to email me. But I, I love making sewing merch. It's so fun. Okay. 
We are adding a seven inch zippered pocket. Yeah, thanks guys. Up a little bit higher, there we go. Switch my stitch length to like a four or so. love about the Emily bag is it's just I mean it's not like super quick but it's it's fairly quick so I really want to make some more of those before my con but I know I have enough we're gonna do inventory within like the next two weeks or so so I'm really excited to count how many I have because at this point I don't have any clue I figured if I knew I don't I don't know then maybe I'd stop I'd get complacent and be like nope this is enough I'm done Never. hope to do full-time I mean it it's taken me five years to be able to support myself I would say it took three years before I could actually like pay bills but CJ supported me for most of it as well as credit cards and my parents <laughs> um but I think that's the problem with handmade businesses is nobody's story is going to be the same because um, it just depends on what you're offering and all that good stuff. Yeah. And I mean, when I was making enough to making enough product to support myself, like I was working 18 hour days, you know, so it really just depends on the time that you're willing to put into it, the market you have that will support it. It's hard, it's not easy. So if you don't love it with, yeah, unless you already have a customer base, yeah. So unless you love every part of this job with every part of your soul, it's gonna be hard. And I do, gosh darn it, I do. <sighs> Adding the zippered pocket. I'm just pulling it taut, getting my threads under. You can use glue to help hold your zipper in place. I'm just holding it by hand. Well, I guess a zipper doesn't have a hand, but I'm holding it with my hand, not by its hand. So as I get close to the zipper pull, I'm going slower, keeping my needle in, moving it out of the way. Oh, um, I made six mini NCWs yesterday and I'm so sorry. I didn't get a chance to film, but I will make more and do a video on it. Um, I was batch sewing, so there was no easy way to do a video. So I do apologize for that. Also, that's a line from Coco. I love that movie. All right, here's the back of my slip pocket, zipper pocket. Okay. So keep my zipper unzipped halfway. And then I'm going to fold the bottom of this up about three quarters of an inch back stitch all the way down the side as close as I can to the zipper pocket. I don't want it to be too big. Yeah, that's awesome. Trimming down the excess. Uh, 
Uh, I really like the NCW. I don't know that it's easy, especially the first time. My first one took me like eight hours. Yeah, the mini, yeah, joy, I bet. This brown waterproof canvas is actually really nice. Like it's not too thick. So turning this isn't gonna be too difficult until I get to the vinyl. So there's my two lining panels finished. Um, yes, I do have a video on the uh, mini NCW. It's really old. Yeah, the NCW takes longer to cut out. Yeah, I will agree with you there. Yeah, let's not talk about the first NCW. Oh, thank you, Alejandro. Alejandra. Oh, the Marilyn, I really wanna try that. All right. So making sure I've got all my side pieces here. <laughs> side pieces. Betty, my hardware is from my website. Humble brag. Yeah, for the NCW, I love the way she cuts it as like one big piece. That's so cool. You're laughing at my side piece joke. All right, so I'm cutting my top zipper way longer than it needs to be. And then I'm going to iron it to remove any wrinkles. And wrinkles. Using a nice amount of steam. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's so cool to see how many people have watched certain videos. I'm trying to go through and number all my videos, thinking that'll help people. <laughs> side pieces are too much work so true um thinking that'll help people like find other videos they may want to watch so i don't know you guys let me know what you think about that also i saw someone who put a zipper on by like taking the bottom end of it and just like shoving it on it didn't work for me in case anyone was wondering not that you were <sighs> Oh. Okay. Looks good. Oh, Kayla, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Okay, I think I will use glue on this part just so my zipper doesn't shift. So I'm using the Fabri-Tac Beacon Glue. Uh, again, Nicole from Sonar reminded me about this stuff. I've actually had this in my sewing stuff for four years at this point, like this same bottle. So it's kind of awesome how long it lasts if you're not using it. Oh, yay, Diana. I'm so glad to hear you like the quality of the zipper by the yard. Um, it's going to be restocked at some point, but I'm always nervous about the quality of things because everyone has different standards and whatnot. So thank you so much for your positive feedback. Um, and unfortunately, we're never, not never, um, Oh, thank you, Tammy. We're not going to be able to offer it um, by the cut. If it's Lauren approved, I'm in. <laughs> Love it. Oh, Crystal. Um, I didn't notice any of the like high-waisted undies in your shop. Are you still making those? The ones that I ordered 
last time, not that you would remember off the top of your head, but I need like a million. Not really, probably three. <laughs> They're the best. Yeah, so the glue just makes it so you don't have to like baste your zipper, but you still can, but it's just an extra layer of security. Okay, so we'll zoom you in. Yes, perfect. That's what I was thinking. But in my head, anxiety is like, don't bother her. She's busy. Oh, anxiety. Can you just stop, okay? Of course I remember. Kathy, I'm so glad. All right, so I'm gonna press this over at my iron. Oh, I could finger press because it's so thin. But I'm gonna add some steam just because it makes it a little bit more malleable. <laughs> right, exactly. Setting my stitch length to 4.5 and then making sure um, to fold over and kind of pull those layers apart so that there's no lining caught in the zipper or anything like that. Making sure it's a nice seam. And then I'm top stitching all the way through the lining and the exterior together. Great, now I'm probably gonna be like, Tammy, cut out 10 more backpacks. Cause I really do enjoy making this pattern. So hopefully you can see what that looks like. There's the back side through both of them. And then I'm not sure if you can see my lining becomes a little bit shorter but that is okay to me because then um, you don't have to grade your seam allowance. Like it's already, the work is done for you. Okay, so then I'm going to, I need to add my um, top strap connectors, don't let me forget. And luckily she didn't want the pockets, so that makes my life a little bit easier. I also am kind of obsessed with the way this glue dries, like, squishy, if you leave it out. I don't know if you can see that. It's like, I don't know, it's boogery. It's fun. <laughs> Booger glue? I just said that to 424 people, it's fine. Uh, so grading, yeah, it looks like slime. Grading your seam allowance is where you go a little bit wider. Um, so that your lining isn't saggy. <sighs> Grab your booger glue. Use your Ouija board hands. Okay. And you don't want to use too much because when you press it, it'll like squeeze out and you don't want that. Just little taps. I really, really wish that they made it in like a, um, like this glue. Um, I bought this forever ago. I think it's pretty awesome. Um, as you can see, I haven't used that much of it, but if they put that glue in this, it would look really cool. Cause this has a little tiny tip and just squeezes so nicely. I don't know if this is similar. I haven't used it for that, but I like how that is tacky now. 
Oh, the metal tipped glue bottles. That's awesome. That's all good to know. I could keep it in my purse. Oh, my glue is drying out a little because it's more like a liquid than. Oh, okay. That sounds right. I mean, I've had it for how many years? <laughs> you can buy bottles with tiny little tips. Tiny Tim tips. I'm gonna have to do that. Okay. Don't forget to add your strap connector. Gonna steam it from the lining side and then top stitch through the exterior and the lining. Make sure you caught everything. Um, have I tried double-sided tape to base zippers? Yes. <laughs> no, Kira. Not true. Um, I was actually using the double-sided tape for my zippers on um, the Devons I was making earlier. I don't know. It takes a long time. Oh, thank you, Carla. Yeah, we do our absolute best. Um, so pretty much orders ship like Monday, Wednesday, Friday when Tammy's here. Because then I have time to work on other stuff. Okay, probably should have tested my zippers prior, but it feels good. Awesome. All right, now I need to add my strap hanger. So I'm going to fold this in half to find my center and crease, fold my lining out of the way. Baby bummies, no. Lauren, what size needle for the T70 thread? I use size 19. All right, lining my ruler up in the center. And I'm using my six inch ruler, setting this down, and I'm going to line up the edge at like the, I'll show you in a second. Sometimes I can't explain. So like this is at five from the center and that's where I've lined up the connector. Yes, that looks great. So they're four, one, yeah, they're five inches apart. Boom. Take a screenshot. Um, and then I'm gonna sew around the rectangle and then I'll add a rivet for support. Yeah, I really love the cool tone of this vinyl. It's really pretty. And then to get my needle to go exactly where I want, what I do is take my hand lever and reverse and kind of wiggle them back and forth till I get the needle where I want it to go. So, pro tip. Um, and yes, they do make non-stick needles for domestic machines that you can try. Um, I need to make an Amazon affiliate link for that. But I don't know, it's so time consuming. 
I did set up an affiliate link within that blog post that will be in the description of this video. Um, so you can shop like pretty much all of Amazon's sewing craft supplies and I get a little cut of it just because it doesn't come out of your pocket. You need the stuff anyway. So that's the best way to support someone, I think. It's kind of like, would you like to buy Girl Scout cookies? It's supporting something, but you know you want to buy them anyway. Unless you don't. I don't know. Uh, this is a Thread Zap Ultra by Beadsmith or something like that. Yeah, great. I always want Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> yes, I know the snips. So this is where my handle is going to be attached. I just donate money to the Girl Scouts. That is awesome. Okay, so then I'm gonna add a rivet through that. Yeah, the circle rings with it look really nice. Also available through my website. Did I miss the measurements for that top part? Um, so these are placed five inches from each other from the center. So the last couple pieces that are in here are the side panels. Mm -hmm. And, oh, um, measurement of the pieces. They're one and a half by three. Folded, folded, folded. Oh, nice. Oh, Corinne, yes, tiny bottles. Okay, so right now I am marking half an inch along the panels so that I can attach and um, everything will fit perfectly. So half inch, half inch. And I like to mark it when it needs to be 100% exact. I can eyeball it no problem, but it's not gonna be 100% exact. So make it foolproof. Oh, thanks, Mousy. Yeah, give it a big old thumbs up. All right, so we're gonna start with the exterior, exterior side panel. I'm not adding pockets to this, so it's gonna go a little bit quicker. I don't have to worry about adding those before adding the bottom panel. So I'm gonna clip it and I'm folding my lining out of the way. And my stitch length is set to 4.5, backstitch, backstitch until I get to the zipper. Don't sew through the lining, backstitch, backstitch. stitch when you get to the end and then you can trim your little jump thread here and then grab your second lining piece line it up clip it only to the lining panel flip this over and then you're gonna fold your exterior fabric out of the way I'm also talking through this quickly because I've done so many flipping videos on the mini that it gets exhausting. It's exhausting. 
All right, trimmed my jump thread. So we're looking at panels here. What I'm gonna do is flip this over, press, keeping this out of the way, and then I'll fold them all down. Press there. Everyone has a few. Oh, thank you. All right, folding this down. So right now, this is full of us. This is a lot of seams. So I've got my lining seam, my zipper, my exterior seam, and lining is on top of the exterior. And what we're gonna do is just top stitch over the zipper. So it's basically closing up the hole that we left open. Okay, that can go in there. And then I'm using my thread zap to seal those threads. This is not in the pattern instructions. This is just my way. What is the fastest way to cut fabric? With scissors, but um, no, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know, that's, that's a tough, tough question. Probably with a rotary cutter, even though I don't use one right. See, not always, um, only really the people that know about my channel. I don't like tell everyone about it. I th I'm thinking about adding it to my business cards. I'm about to design some new ones. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided. Some people do. Yeah, it is nice having someone cut. I don't know how I would get, I mean, I know that I would get it done, but I would be exhausted. Yeah, so at the shows, um, if my husband does come, I mean, he gets paid to work, but he's the one that mostly sells the bags because I don't know how he's so good at it. So... She's the one that tells people like, oh yeah, and she has a YouTube channel. Oh, Kathy. That's awesome, Kathy. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's crazy. It's like, People would rather listen to a really proud husband than the person that made it, I guess. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna stitch up this handle before I forget. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right, we are getting to the hard part of the bag, so I know I always say I'm gonna stop reading comments, but I may have to. Slow down on reading comments. Okay, so there's my little 
grab handle. I got the bags. That's awesome. That's so cute. Okay. So now we're going to make a gusset. I've got my bottom lining and my bottom exterior. We're going to separate the lining here. Lay down this exterior. I'm going to mark my half inch seam allowance on the bottom panel. Oh, that's exciting. The Animal Crossing themed switch. So excited. I literally thought about doing some like um walk not walkthroughs but like here's my town or something like that here's my island later on I think it'd be fun I'd want to see others all right lining up that bottom panel stitch length set to 4.5 back stitching at the beginning Lining up this other panel. Woo! I'd watch it. I know, right? I, I would watch it. Okay, and then I'm going to fold this open and top stitch. Do I top stitch? Along? Yeah, along the bottom. And you can add two lines of top stitching or just one line, but you want to make sure that your seam allowance is laid flat. Um, you could also like butterfly stitch it where you split your seam open flat and sew it along the top and the bottom to kind of equalize the thickness. Totally up to you. I'm adding two lines of stitching. Um, Julia, I don't know that I would really use it if I had it. I'm not great at paying attention to that. I don't know why. And at this point, it's been three years without one. But maybe if I had one, I'd use it. Who knows? Tops and bobbins for the templates. Coupon code so whatever gets you money off. It is not an affiliate code. I don't get any money. You just get money off. Okay, sewing the bottom panel on now. And then I'm just going to trim down the seam allowance here. And then we're going to snip our centers and get the front lining panel attached and then we'll get the front panel attached yes code is one word okay so lining up here, here, um, all caps. I think it doesn't matter. I just tried it the other day. Okay, so making sure the bottom panels line up and all that good stuff, flattening everything out. Okay, 
Okay, the top is snipped, top lining is snipped. I just need to snip the lining panel. Oh, I did. <coughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, now I'm going to switch the camera angle over so you guys can see a little bit better as we're working through this. Okay. I have to move my TV a little. Come on. Nope. Hold, please. front panel is the thinner panel. Um, I am not giving any measurements that are part of the pattern. I do apologize. You have to purchase it. I do not get any money from the purchase of this pattern, but I think you should support an awesome designer. Unfortunately, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> um, I uh, no, I don't, I mean. I don't believe I would have said that I'd prefer a 1541. I'd say I would love to own one, but I wouldn't reach for it as much just because this is the machine I love. But if you're gonna work with thicker materials all the time and leather, the 1541 is the way to go. trim down that excess and then when we add our zipper pocket lining piece we're gonna leave the bottom open so we can burr through <laughs> the other day when I was making one of the Davina totes I didn't leave the bottom open I was like I'll just birth it through the pocket no that was not fun <clears throat> Then we're going to add the front exterior panel. 
The reason I start with the lining first is because it's a lot easier to move out of the way when you're trying to sew the main panel versus the other way around. I do not change my needles for every bag. So if you cut this pattern the way I talk in the like full length video on how I adapt it, um, I think it's like the six inch from the bottom, your zipper panel and your um, side panel should like match up pretty perfectly. So this is my zipper, my front zipper pocket and then the zipper panel. It should match up underneath the um, zipper tab. So you could choose to cut it at a differently or a differently, a different size place. Okay, so there the whole thing is clipped together. I'm gonna start at the top, kind of pinch. Eh, starting at the side panel. That's where I normally start, just feels natural. Back stitch, stitch length set to 4.5. I'm kind of back stitching throughout as I go just for extra reinforcement. And as we get to this side panel, pivot slowly. Um, I have started using Decaville Light on the bottom of the bag instead of Decaville Heavy, and that definitely makes it a lot easier. And like it's a backpack, so it doesn't need that stiff of a bottom, I don't think. I haven't noticed like it's lacking without it. This is like my arm workout for the day. Okay, then I'm trimming the excess. You want to make sure that you cover your basting stitch. I have added piping to the mini backpack before and it turned out super cute. I just haven't done it since then. It's because it's extra work and people already don't really want to pay what I'm charging for them. I mean, that's probably not true. That's a problem I'm creating in my own head. I'm gonna sew down the bottom panel one more time. I messed up a little bit when I ran into a clip and I just want it to be nice. Flush. There we go. And then I'm sewing within the seam allowance just for, again, a little extra stability. Um, yeah, my zipper gusset has Decaville Light cut out of the seam allowances. I don't have it on this side panel, though. I don't know why, but I think when you add stuff to it, it gives it that shape. So then I'm pushing this 
through the opening here. And I'm gonna check. Basically, you can check that everything is looking good. I think it's looking good. And then I'm gonna push this. Go, Lauren, go. Pull this apart. And we're gonna start with the lining side and then do the back side. So you can see that the lining is a lot easier to mush about than the exterior would be. So work on this first. So I didn't center snip this one. So let's do that really quick. And this one, we are leaving the bottom open. Is this zip, is this angle? Okay, I haven't looked up as I'm sewing this. Can you guys see okay or should I move it a little over this way a bit more? Can see. Looks good, okay. I learned to do the center snips. Okay, it's fine. Oh yay, the power's back on, awesome. Was it out for like maintenance or? block of land started two doors away oh yeah these colors are really nice together so um the word the woman i don't know the person who custom ordered this is actually a viewer and um she designed literally every part of it so i'm glad it's looking good i like it I was really excited to make it, especially with the colors she picked. It just seemed so like relaxing, you know? All right, so I'm lining up the bottom, but again, we're not gonna sew through this. So I'm gonna start at the curve. You want to cover this stitching here. So we're gonna start there, come all the way around, come back to this pot, pot part and stop back stitching, of course and leaving this open because that's where we're going to turn the bag through. Um, so removing the square, like removing the round bottom from the bag makes it not quite as wide. Um, so the original pattern has a round bottom. It's a little bit complicated to add if you're not great with round bottoms. It me though. <laughs> um, and yeah, she was, Mimicking the look of the lounge fly backpacks that everyone is obsessed with. Well, not everyone, because I'm not. But I just, the gusset was inspired, inspired by my friend Rochelle, and it just looks so pretty. I don't even like brown. I know, I was kind of the same way. I've literally never purchased brown waterproof canvas. <laughs> Kira, you like round bottoms but not side pieces? What the heck? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I had tried to figure it out and it just didn't work and then she was like, you gotta do this. I was like, thank you. So it's, it's made them go by so much faster. I like both. Yeah, I, sometimes I like round bottom bags like, um, the Brooklyn, I like making the Bonnie. It's when it's like a larger bag, but when it's small and round, it gets a little hard. Oh, 
What am I even saying sometimes? <laughs> round bottoms on my main piece. Humans prefer round objects. Research proves it. Very cool. Round bottom bags will make the rockin' world go round. Trim the excess down. And luckily everything is sewn up. The bag pack, bag pack, backpack straps are on. My tassel is completed. My canvas straps are ready to go. Probably gonna uh, interface and prep some NCWs when I get off the live video. Still haven't started the originals. I've been meaning to. I believe you can sell your bags made from this pattern, yes. Oh, hey. No need to worry about being late. So then one thing I kind of like to do is make sure that the rounded spot is going on the top, everything matches up. And here you can unzip it now. It's not required, but it helps. Cliffing from the gusset, like with the gusset facing um, up so that I can follow the curve of my interfacing easier. Get in there, get in there. We are everywhere. We are the world. I used to I mean, I still do um, drool over Deedlebug bags. Her vinyl quilting is incredible. She used to post in the swoon groups and stuff and I'd just be like, one day. I'm still not that great, but I'm all right. Oh, yay. I'm excited to get it out to you. Um, I ordered a little bit extra of the fabric, so I'm gonna send that along too. Um, I have learned to order extra just in case something gets cut wrong. So it's not much of the fabric, it's a little, little piece, but I figured you could make something with it to match. Okay, more clips, cause there's never enough. Okay, so then just double checking everything. Not enough clips. You can staple the top of this bag if you would like. You could also just kind of baste it. I'm gonna make a hair bow. Oh my God, that'd be so cute. All right, starting on the side. And again, we added the lining first because it's easier to smoosh that out of the way. The backpack is always like a serious arm workout for me because this arm and shoulder here is like,
turning and pressing. So I guess that's why it's a good reason to mix up what bag you're making. It's a different, different workout. So this is arm day. So this shoulder is getting so much better. Um, I can actually move it a lot further with less pain, so I'm so thankful for that. I've been going to the chiropractor. <laughs> okay, hopefully I can get you guys a little bit closer to the action. Okay. Yes. There's the money shot. Um, I don't think I have any kind of condition. I just fell when roller skating. So, clumsy itis. Oh, the neck, yeah. My chiropractor's like, yeah, neck's tight. I know, man. I do go skating um, when I can with my friend Jesse. Um, but I've had to cancel. Like I canceled this week just because there's so much I have to catch up on for cons, but I did not fall the last time I went, so I'm doing better. So I'm like pushing certain parts out of the way, but I, I'm using my hands to prevent any puckering on the top of the bag. So I just kind of press them out. And then we're going over the strap connector. So I want to back stitch. Okay. Now that's finished and we can trim all this excess off. I don't want to trim through my strap connector because then you're weakening, like it's got the basting stitch supporting it as well as the main stitch. So you don't want to trim through that basting stitch and then you only have one supporting stitch. Um, but you also don't want to sew your stitch lines too close together to where you are then perforating the vinyl and weakening it. So. There's always like a fine line between weakening it and strengthening it. And it's hard to know which is which unless you make a bag and use it. Unfortunately. Um, I'm honestly not sure if I'm using the seam allowance for the pattern or not. I don't, I'm sorry. I'm using the seam allowance that works for me. Okay. I mean, bag is basically done, so we can move it up a little bit. Worth it. Okay. So now we have this hole here. We're gonna grab the front of the bag through that pocket and reach for the bottom of the bag, pushing the corners through. And that's the fastest way to get this out. So you've got the front of the bag out, the bottom of the bag out. Then you can get the lining over the back panel. Get the other bottom piece out. Come on.
then I'm going to push out all the seams of the bag, make sure everything is sewn together well. There's a little thread, we're gonna thread that away. Just a little basting thread. along those seams and you'll find your bag comes together nicely. And then I'm gonna grab the lining pocket and grab the bottom of my lining that we left open, pull that through. I've got my center snips lined up. I'm gonna grab a clip. And we're gonna sew that closed. And then you can trim down the excess fabric. Yes, tote bag is a great way to start out sewing. Yes, and this is actually originally shown by a woman named Teresa, I believe. Her method, not mine. Never want to take credit for something I didn't do. Grab one of my woven labels. Clothes and plushies, that's so fun though. I made a goose thing. Okay, got that closed up. Well, oh, thank you, Kira. Do you not add foam in the Mighty Messenger gusset either? Um, I'm not sure. I, yeah, I guess I used fleece. I used foam in the front flap, but that was accidental, to be honest. <laughs> But I liked it because it added like loftiness and stability without the thickness. Yes. Okay, so I pushed my zipper pocket in. I'm closing up my pocket and then I'm pressing the lining in. Unclip my shoulders there. Okay. Now for my strap, I will add it to the top here. Detective Pikachu. Oh, that's exciting. All right, so what I'm doing first is clipping it on. I would rivet it on now and like poke the holes, but I know that it won't fit. Purse feet would be nice on there, yeah. I just worry that with it on a back, it can sometimes kind of like poke a little bit. So cute. So kind of massage the bag. I love the back slip pocket so much. All right, so then I have my back slide adjusting straps. So that goes through this loop here, through the bag. Oh, I love the feel of these handles. And then through the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I've been binge watching the Golden Girls. Because I don't have to like watch it. I can listen and laugh. Uh, this is not webbing. This is a... Okay, lost the video for a second. But anyway, I'm going to rivet on the handle and then ship this off to its new home. I love the way it turned out, so thank you guys for joining me while we made it. I'm going to sew this on and then rivet the handle. <laughs> um, and then any links will be um, down below in that like blog post. So hopefully that post works for you guys. So thanks for hanging out, and I will see you next time. Bye. And where's the end? There it is.